Ukoliko imaš pozitivnu priču, unaprijedio si vlastiti život, inspiriš i drugi. Budi zvijezda pozitive i pozitivnih promjena. Podijeli svoju priču sa nama u emisiji Otisak Puls Plus. Dragi naši, evo nas u specijalnom izdanju emisije Otisak Puls Plus. Specijalnom, naravno, zato što imamo specijalnog gosta. Sa nama danas u Brčkom, zamjenik visokog predstavnika Bosni i Hercegovini, supervizor za Brčko, Michael Skellan. Gospodin Le Skellan, dobrodošli u Otisak Puls Plus. Thank you, as always, it's great to be in Brčka. Ja sam imao sreću da u ovoj emisiji razgovaram sa mnogo uspješnih pozitivnih, pametnih ljudi i da učim od njih. Nadam se da ću iz ovog razgovora naučiti nešto. Ali za sam početak želio bih da našoj publici predstavimo ko je to Michael Scanlon. Well, again, I'm very happy to be here. And I'm here because, as you said, I'm the supervisor for Birchgo. So who is that supervisor is your question. Who am I as a person? Well, I'm someone who has spent the last 60 years uh, first with my father who was a diplomat and then by myself uh, living in this part of the world, be it in what people often say is ex-Yugoslavia or in my childhood Yugoslavia, the former Soviet space, Eastern Europe. And I just love this part of the world. And for me, sitting here close to the Sava River in this kind of environment is it's just wonderful. But let me add, I'm also a very lucky man. I have a lovely wife and a wonderful nine-year-old boy. And uh, they have been here to Bershka with me a couple times and, and they too find this an amazing place. What do you think is important to be a person who has done this job, or has done this job, who has done this job, who has done this job, who has done this job? What was your star star? Well, it's a good question. There, I would say there are two aspect, two answers here. One is, I have a very clear mandate. Uh, I'm responsible as a supervisor to be sure that the final award is implemented. And the two key aspects of that are uh, ensure or see that Birchko District is, and its institutions are fully functional and sustainable. And uh, the second part of it is that the two entities support and, uh, that process. That's the formal answer. The informal answer is a person has to have optimism, vision, and confidence in people. And in my 40-some visits to Bershka District, I see what the district can be. I think all of you see what the district can be. Uh, I am confident that changes are happening. In fact, as someone who comes and goes, I perhaps see those changes are unfolding much better and much clearer than uh, you who live here every day. Uh, and I've seen that you, the inhabitants of Birchko, the leadership of Birchko, if you choose to, you can do it. This place can be an amazing place within a couple, three years. And I think it is on that path already. I think the first supervisor for Birchko District, Mr. Uh, Farand, uh, 2000-te godine rekao da bi Brčko za 10 godina moglo imati aerodrom. A mi 20 i kusur godina nakon toga nemamo ni adekvatnu autobusku stanicu. Mm -hmm. Ja bi volio čuti vaš komentar sure. na to. I agree you don't have a decent bus station. I'm not so sure you need an airport. I think what you will be having and it is happening, you'll have a reconstructed bridge and you'll have a new bridge. You'll have a modernized port. You'll have highways that go east-west, north-south. Birchko will be at the center of the most profound transportation network in this corner of BIH and actually this region. And Birchko will be the ideal place for investors, businesses to work if you want to access the Western Balkan and EU markets. This is the sustainable factor to Birchko's future, not the budget. Slažem se da da jesmo napredovali u poslednjih 20 godina i imamo mnogo vidljivih promjena na bolje. 
imate li neki recept? Da li biste mogli da nam prenesete nešto iz zemlje u kojoj ste vi rođeni ili iz grada u kome ste vi rođeni kako postaći svakog pojedinca da bude dio tog progresa? And I think this comment of each individual's role is central and key and thank you for mentioning that. And the key premise is elected officials, public officials are here to serve the people. The budget is to use to create a positive environment for economic growth, quality of life, good schools, good health care. The budget is not a work program to employ everyone. It's an instrument to help the community grow. Let's be honest, Birchko lost its way, really lost its way this past decade. Now it's about getting back on track, creating a sustainable model on these issues that I'm talking about about private sector growth, about e-services, so you have quick quality services, creating an environment in which people want to invest, both local and private, and that the public administration and the elected officials demonstrate through their activity that they value every tax dollar. There is no conflict of interest between private and public. It is the public interest first, zero tolerance for corruption, and maximize service. This is the formula that will make Birchco very quickly and is starting to make Birchco the wonderful place it should be and I'm confident it will be. I am not sure that I have got a precise answer. I wanted to ask you, or I asked you, what is the recipe for the person? How to encourage him da traži od ljudi koji smo birali da rade svoj posao kako treba. I think that if you want something in life, you have to speak up for it. Everyone has a responsibility to themselves, to their family, and to their community to participate and to be a part of the solution. For example, if you vote and you take money to vote or a promise of a job to vote, you're not part of the solution, you're part of the problem. Birchko will only be what Birchko can be if everyone participates in that and everyone demands that of themselves, of the people who are elected to serve them and the people who are appointed in public administration to work for them. Let me add, lots of people, everyone almost complains to me about, oh, corruption, taking advantage of the system, doing personal favors. But yet, when I push everyone, did you ever take a shortcut? Did you ever, well, yes, but my situation <laughs> is special, unique? No, zero tolerance, zero abuse of the system, zero, there are no exceptions. Doesn't matter how high, how low, how urgently you need a document, there is clarity, transparency, and fair procedures for everyone. That's the recipe. What is ono što vi odnosno funkcija koju obnašate svojim autoritetom može uraditi da nam pomogne kako bi se te stvari promijenile. I, I think the reason I've come here 40 I think 40 times I think my colleague told me it was 43 times but is because I think as an outsider it's easy to come in here and remind people what are the collective priorities that would work to remind people of the responsibilities they have and to offer a partnership that if they do their part, you will see the donors, you will see the investors. I will bring that to their attention. But you all, authorities, public administration, citizens, you do your part and I will bring the other ingredients you need to make this place change quickly. I think I've already asked you, but I'll repeat it. How many people in the public sector are in the city from which you come from? Actually, I went online about a year or so ago, the town that I spent some of my childhood. And they have a budget of approximately $100 million, which is not too far from uh, it's actually a little smaller, but not too far from your, your guys' budget. And including 
police, school teachers, etc., they have less than a thousand employees. Now we don't have public health, so that's a different. Your public administration is way too large. You need to move more towards electronic services. They're quicker, they're faster, they're good against anti-corruption measures because there's uh, no people involved. People need to be hired on the, their capabilities. Do they bring the skill set the community needs to get certain things done? Perfect example, we worked very hard to get Birchco included again in the World Bank Sava River project that will make available up to $25 million of, pro, uh, of funding for five programs that include a new waste facility and a, a lovely promenade along the waterfront. But there's a lot of documentation and work that needs to be done. Your administration currently doesn't have that capability. The good news is that the, uh, the officials have acknowledged that problem and they're looking for both a tr interim solution to bring on such capabilities, but uh, capabilities, not through patronage, nepotism, but person with those capabilities. Uh, and as well, our, we'll start looking at public administration reform and civil service reform to create the right incentives. And finally, if your administration footprint gets smaller, it frees up more budget money for capital investments, for schools, for improvements of infrastructure that attracts business, for quality health care and buying the necessary equipment. And those people from government, as the private sector grows, will have other opportunities, good paying jobs. So this is really win, 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 as we say in America. That's the recipe. Everyone wins. It's not zero sum. Kada nešto ne znamo, onda angažujemo nekoga ko zna. Ako ne imamo te stručnjake u Brčko, moramo ih dovesti sa strane, što je normalno. E sada, da bi neko ko ima znanje, kompetencije i sve ono što je potrebno da ima i ko je toliko unikatan da bi došao da radi u našem gradu, ta osoba koja bi došla ovdje, ona zahtijeva i kvalitetan život. A to mislim, ne mislim samo na zdravstveni sistem, ne mislim samo na obrazovni sistem, mislim i na kulturu. Da li u svojim razgovorima sa zvaničnicima distrikta nekada obratite pažnju i na to? Absolutno. Actually, when I went home once and I told my wife, if we lived in Birchcombe when we wanted to take our son to the movie, we'd have to take our passport so we could go to Osea. She was like, what? Again, this is a win-win. People who live in Birchko, everyone who lives in Birchko, would love to be able to not have to get in a car to drive to go to a restaurant, to see a theater, to go to a swimming pool, to go to a sports event, to have a nice walk along the waterfront with lovely cafes, especially since the river is here anyways. Uh, everyone <laughs> wants that. But that's also what Birchko needs to have. If you're going to have real serious foreign investors and big local investors open here because they'll often have to bring talent that perhaps uh, does not exist currently in Birchko and they will want to come to their families and they'll say is that a place we want to live and if you do have that people from around the region will come to relax and enjoy Birchko which will just generate income and opportunities for the people who in Birchko who open hotels cafes restaurants sporting events organizes them so again it's it's a win-win. It doesn't have to be lose, win, zero, sum. It is really, really straightforward. Gospodin Naskelon, možete li na moment zaboraviti da ste supervizor i stavite se u poziciju čovjeka koji ima sina od devet godina, poput svakog roditelja želi najbolju budućnost za njega, stanovnik je Brčko distrikta. I put myself mentally in that position every time I come here. My engagement here is, is about creating the sustainable future for everyone in a very positive way in Birchco. This is not about me, the supervisor, whatever. This is about your community, your life, uh, your all's future. And therefore, it's very much about the next generation's future. Do they see a future here? So everything I just said, I've been saying, is this is what the, the next generation needs to see. They need to see, not just here, but start to see this future unfolding at Birchko. So they say, yes, I can raise a family here. I can find an interesting job here. 
I can have a good cultural sports life. I can have a sense of peace, security. I can be very confident that my life will be happy here. And as I said, every time I come here after this four hour car drive, uh, I take a walk just to stretch my legs, to get a sense of the, the city. Uh, and so people often come up to me and to be honest, initially at the beginning, it was about talking about how people are leaving, how the problems that this community are having. But I had a very pleasant conversation and I was very happy to have it on Monday uh, when I was taking a walk literally just around the corner from here. And a young family, a young man and his wife with the kid in the stroller uh, said, hi. And so I said, hi. And the gentleman spoke English. And I was thinking, oh, he's going to complain and I understand why people complain. So I immediately asked him, do you see a future here? You're a young family, you're a young person. And he paused for a second and he said, yes, I think it's a good time to be in Birchko. And I hope that means he and others are starting to see what I am seeing happening here. But I also hope it means that he, you, and all others will become a part of this positive change that is unfolding. I have a very important conversation with you for 20 years. Kada budete rezimirali svoju karijeru i prisjećali se gdje ste to sve radili i šta ste radili, šta je ono što je realno asocirat će vas na Brčko distrikt, a šta je ono što biste željeli da vidite da je Brčko distrikt? I feel, even right now, I don't need reflection, remarkably fortunate and privileged to have this opportunity to work with the Birchgate district community to create a quality of life, uh, a sense of, of prosperity, joy, uh, happiness, vibrance uh, for a, an amazing community that's located in a, just a phenomenal location. Uh, uh, and. I feel privileged, like all public servants, all elected officials should feel privileged to have the opportunity to contribute. It's about creating a system. It's not about me. It's not about the current mayor, the next mayor, the current assembly members, the next public servants. It's about a system that works for everybody and that the people who come and go from that system have an opportunity and a sense of privilege to work in that system for the good of the community. Everything is so possible here. I cannot underscore how clear it is to me that in the next couple, three years, this will be just the beginnings of just a wonderful, sustainable future for the community of Birchko District and everyone will be proud and they travel in BIH around the region to say I'm from the Birchko district and I'll be very proud to have said I was associated at some point in my career with the Birchko district. Gospodine Skjelman, hvala vam što ste izdvojili svoje vrijeme. Hvala vam što ste podijelili sa nama taj vaš optimizam. I svakako hvala vam što pratite rad ekipe Otisak Puls Plus. Nadam se da ćemo u neko skorije vrijeme ponovo razgovarati i imati mnogo toga i ljepšeg da kažemo kada je u pitanju Brčko. It's been my privilege. Thank you very much for your interest, for your service to the community. The media has a very important role to play in this change and I'm very confident that with you and with other of your media colleagues there will be a lot of positive things to talk about in the next couple of years. Hvala još jednom, nadam se. Poštani gledalci, hvala vam što ste bili sa nama. Ja jesam nešto naučio. Nadam se da ste i vi. Svako dobro. Ukoliko imaš pozitivnu priču, unaprijedio si vlastiti život, inspiriš i drugi. Budi zvijezda pozitive i pozitivnih promjena. Podijeli svoju priču sa nama u emisiji Otisak Puls Plus.